the owner complained that uh, the dog suddenly stopped eating for three days. But before that, the dog was very active and exercised with him. But from what I see, the dog has not been eating for some time, not three days. Or losing appetite, so you can see it's emaciated. It's all bone. 21st of July 2018. And Oh Shizu stopped eating for three days. What has happened to him? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational videos sponsored by Toapayo Wets. 9th of August 2018 is the Singapore National Day. Singaporeans celebrated the National Day together with pride. Old dog not eating for 3 days. What is balanopostitis? It is an inflammation of the penis and the prepuce. Diagnosis On 21st July 2018, a dog, Shizu, male, 12 years old, was sent in with a complaint of not eating for 3 days. Now, this dog is, uh, of course, there's a, there's a cataract, so you can't see, can't see well, so, so it's, it's very uh, ferocious in the sense that it doesn't like people to touch him, so I can't see the mouth. But uh, generally, there's something wrong internally. So now we have a general examination which I've done. We weighed the dog 5 by 5, like temperature 38.5, so there was no fever. And I'll do a quick check on the heart and lungs. Heart is okay. Lung. Lungs normal, no sounds. Now I will do the abdominal palpation. This is where the dog is not happy. Dog is not happy. So start from the anterior side. Okay, just relax first. Okay. Then checking the kidneys. Uh, and checking for pain or swelling my lungs. Let me check. Let's do the nose so tight. Let's see the reaction. Now there's a hunching. You can see it hunched up. It doesn't relax. There's some pain. I can feel that, that there's no swelling of the liver or, or spleen. The kidneys, the left kidney might be might be reduced in size because I can't feel it. The left kidney is on this side. Right kidney only you can't feel because it's further up. So now I'm going down the mid abdomen to feel for any lumps or not. So far, no pain. Mid abdomen is, is okay. Some, there's no complaint of diarrhea, vomiting, no complaint of coughing. Okay, now I'm going to the back. Posterior abdomen, that's where the prostate is. Prostate, and because this dog has not been neutered, it's a male dog, not neutered. So I, I check the prostate. Now, male dogs suddenly they have prostate infection. There's a big swelling there. Now this swelling is mostly a prostate gland enlargement. According to the owner, there was some blood in the urine some two years ago, but this dog is not regularly checked. So there's a swelling there about the size of a of a golf ball. Now this swelling could be the bladder or could be the prostate. But there's no pain there. But this this feeling could be a, a prostatic infection, so then the the dog feels not so well. So but we're not did not want X-ray. So what we do is just a blood test and IV drip first. Cause according to the owner, the dog was bitten by another dog one, one or two weeks ago. So it's possible there's an infection. Evidence of infections, blood tests. The main findings are uh, actually the total white cell count, which is just point to be 42. Now, the normal is 5 to, no, 6 to 17. 6 to 17,000 cells per microliter. 
so that is definitely high at least two or three times higher and then we look at the absolute uh, neutral fields okay neutral fields is 81 percent now the normal one just is 60 to 70 percent so just point your point out. this is a normal for most dogs 60 to 70 percent so there's an increase now we look at the absolute numbers of neutral fields you can see it's for 34.5 or 35 compared to the normal one it's only 3 to 12 so there's no doubt this dog has a high bacterial infection which we can show has evidence to the owner rather than just uh, guessing now you look at the monocytes huh? the monocytes 12.7 percent now the normal cbc there is 3 to 10 so it's slightly high now this increase in monocytes uh, that increase will, will signify that there's a chronic infection you look at the absolute number 5.41 compared to the normal one is 1 to 4 so there is a chronic infection then we look at the basal fields huh? look at basal fields it should be, it should be 0 it should, it's very rare in dogs but you can see there's a 2.1 and uh, 0 0.9 uh, the absolute 0 0.9 cells nine zero uh, per microliter of blood now you look at the PCB PCB is 0 0.33 normal it should be 0 0.37 and 0 0.55 so this shows the dog was dehydrated so IV drip is definitely important for survival cholesterol definitely we, we, don't, we don't we don't mention much because they are normal and the dog is actually very thin uh. diabetes is okay the dog's not eating so you can see it's, it's a bit low mm. liver is okay you can see the cells liver cells are really within the normal range okay then we go down further to bone and joint function it's normal there's no no uric acid or low calcium then we go to kidney in a kidney there's a starting of a kidney failure i would say you look at the creatinine 177 which is up to the upper limit but uh, the dog has the is still okay as far as the kidney function is concerned okay is there another one no more so in summary what can we tell from this blood test so total white cell count very high it's a severe bacterial infection in the blood and from the bladder, the urine test, we know that the bladder also is, is infected. So it's bacteremia and UTI, urinary tract infection. Now the swelling of the penis and, and the prepuce, the foreskin, we, it's known as balanoprostitis. And that one is sometimes due to chronic urinary tract infection. They won't be treated. And so as far as this uh, blood test is concerned, you can see that uh, the neutral fields and the leukocytes are very high. So it comes from most likely chronic urinary tract infection, which has not been treated by the owner. Okay, then now we go to the next one. Anemia occurs when the dog is having a chronic illness, sickness. Uh. No, the red blood cells. 5.3. The hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is. Uh, these two are low because you compare the reference range. 12. This for what? For, him? for hemoglobin. 12 to 18. 12 to 18. And then the other one should be the. Red cells is 5.3, mm. which is only 5.5 to 8.5. So this, this is evidence of anemia, but not the serious one because it's just below the, the lower range, but it's still. A, a cause for concern so we do give IV drips plus multivitamins and B12 as well then you go you will go home with multivites after the blood test the blood test shows that the total white blood count of this dog is 42,000 cells per microliter of blood while the normal range is between 5,000 to 17,000 cells per microliter this indicates that this dog has neutrophilic leukocytosis and has severe urinary tract infection and balanol prostitis. Treatment 
On day one of treatment, the dog was given an intravenous drip containing normosaline and vitamin B12. A bacterial injection of 0.7 ml was given intravenously too. On day two of treatment, it was given 0.6 ml of bacterial injection and 0.1 ml of prednisone injection subcutaneously as well as a 0.5 ml lexix injection intravenously. On day 3 of treatment, it was given a 0.7 ml bacterial injection intravenously. Outcome Day 3 of inpatient treatment 23rd of July 2018 The swelling of penis and prepuce was much less as the pineal head is now inside the prepuce. Here is the footage of the dog on day 3. Continuing with this case of uh, not eating for 3 days, the 12 year old Shih Tzu, male, not neutered. Now you can see today is the day 3 of inpatient treatment. You can see he's so alert, barking and happy. So you can see he's very skinny. You can see his, his uh, spine actually. Eh? Now we are thinking about for, for a walk. It's about 10.30am. Uh, you can see he has cataracts. Being a 12 year old. And uh, did he pee? Uh, he, he might want to pee. Now he did have pus from the bladder, he discharged pus. Now you can see he's peeing normally. The color of the urine is clearer. Clearer. And uh, definitely the antibiotics are working. It's a lot of urine. Some dogs don't urinate inside the, the cage. Huh? So once you let go, you should feel better. This is from the drips because he did not eat and drink when he was sick for the last three days. And uh, it's quite a long duration of urination. Huh? But other than that, he is definitely it looks normal now. Tips and advice. In conclusion, if your old dog is not eating, please seek medical attention immediately. If your pet seek treatment promptly, they will have a better chance of recovery. Besides that, the cost of treatment will be cheaper as well if you treat your pets early, when the disease is still not severe. We have now come to the end of the video. Credits to the vets Dr. Singh and Dr. Daniel, as well as vet assistant Judy and Sue. For more information, feel free to contact Toa Payo Wets. You can also email to us via judy at toapayowets.com or visit our website at toapayowets.com.